All right, so now I'm walking to the furniture store. It's a small, again, mom and pop shop that, that sells furniture. And I actually like the cheaper beds. Like there's some options to get the more expensive beds in the malls, like uh, Como de Mis, I don't know, I can't pronounce it. Como de Mismo, whatever. They're super, they're more expensive, but I prefer the cheaper ones. The old school mattresses with the, uh, the metal springs in them. I love that. To me, it's super comfortable. So, and those happen to be the cheaper ones. So it's even better. So we're gonna go to the, look at this house right here. That's a cool house. I love that house. Anyways, don't ask me, guys, don't ask me where I'm living. Cause I kind of don't want to give that information out to social media. Uh, cause I get a lot of views on my videos and I kind of want to keep my, where I live private. Huh? I don't know, maybe some of you guys might understand that, right? So anyways, because as this channel grows, who knows, right? So anyways, let's go to the furniture store. Stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the furniture store. It literally has no name. That's how small, that's how mom and pop shop it is. So let's check it out. One eyes. Let's see, they're not here. I'm gonna wait for the owner, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm gonna, I asked if I can film. She said, yes, of course. So. This is the bed that I'm buying right here. I actually negotiated with them yesterday, so let's see. Let's talk to them, see about uh hola como están. Bien. Yeah, y, no <laughs> no. es, desde Estados Unidos. Desde Estados Unidos. Sí. Eso. Entonces, ¿cómo funciona? Ustedes pueden enviar hoy mismo a mi casa. Sí, claro, yo le puedo enviar ahí mismo. Ah, muy bien. ¿Y cómo son cómo son los um, cobijas todo eso? ¿Qué color era? Las pues opciones. Mira, tengo En ese colchón, como el que usted miró ayer, Ajá. la base cama y ya pues ahora sí tengo varias colores. Porfa, vamos a ver. All right, guys, let's check it out. Let's check out the about the uh, about the bed, about the. Mira, este bolas que usted miró ayer. Sí, rojo, ah, pero no la sé si me roja. gusta. What do you guys think? Should I get red for the covers and everything? La y rosadita. She's showing me pink. ¿Usted cree que yo quiero por rosada? No sé. Eso es para mí, no para. para... Ah, como vino con la muchacha ayer, pues yo pensé. No, que... no, pues también si sí, si sí, yo estoy con una muchacha, no. Pues Mira. debe ser como para los dos, no. Mira esta rosadita verde. Azul. Otra vez rosadita. <laughs> Vamos a ver, look at this one, guys. She's trying to get me to get pink, but I guess we're in 2020, so it's all good. Let's see. So that one. Mira esta. Ah, es... ah no. Eso es para niños, ¿sí o no? No, esa es para ¿Qué tiene? Como un carrito. No, esa no es de carrito, esa tiene varios colores, viene rojita. Viene... ¿Es una maleta o qué? Sí, más o menos. ¿Para viajar? <risa> ah, bueno. Eh, no, es que yo, yo quería ese de sencilla. ¿Cuáles cuál otras opciones tiene? Esta, pero no es de exclusión. Ah, no. ¿Y ese es nacional o qué? Sí, esta es del nacional. ¿Pero qué? ¿Ese es doble o de sencillo? Pero esto es un. Ya no, esto solo es sábana, esto es una colchao. Ah, sí, y no, ayer nos negociamos que. Sábana y colcha con lo, el precio que hablemos, ¿sí o no? Sí, 1550. Claro que si usted quiere llevar este, solo haría 10 mil pesos más y se lleva este. ¿Y por qué es peso, 10 este mil pesos es más? Este es un poquito más costoso que sí. aquello, sí. Guys, Nacional, this is the. the, the but my, 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 uh, my girl's dad won't like it, he likes Medellín. Es que mi suegro le gusta Medellín. Es yo. Pero no tengo de Medellín hoy. No, no, pero yo, a mí no me importa. Es sí, vamos a ver. Bueno. You guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna negotiate everything. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we we had to go through all the different covers. These are more expensive. They're double. They're two sided, and this one here is one sided, but this one's cheaper. And that's what I negotiated yesterday at five hundred fifty thousand. Now she was trying to act like she didn't remember my negotiations. She was trying to charge me extra for that, but I put my foot down. I said no, and I got the prices that that we negotiated yesterday. I believe that if you agree on something, you should stick to it. You don't change. And I was even ready to go buy somewhere else if they were going to do that to me. So anyways, and you, that's just, this is what it is, man. You guys stick to your ground. Anyways, and then we, I'm going to get this uh, green sauvignon right here. So I'm going to pay. And it came out to be 550,000 pesos for the covers, the over cover, the bed, and the base. And I think delivery is free. I hope it's free. We'll see. Stay tuned. So the delivery truck is this guy. Como te llamas? Pablo. Pablo. This is Pablo. He's the delivery truck for the store, and he basically carries the the beds on his back, delivering the, the stuff to him. So I showed him where I live. I'm only live like uh, like two blocks away, so just so he can show. 
but I asked him how far does he go he says as far as needed be and when he's tired he stops he rests and he keeps going so que tan lejos que que fue lo más lejos que fuiste lo más lejos no que donde yo yo más que me descargando las cosas y eso es una escala y digo parecía wow escalando esas escalas si fue a escala oiga no por eso estás muy delgado delgado pues Ay, tanto cargado. Y, y tanto cargado, tanto fuerza. Ajá. Ah, bueno, dale. So there you go, guys. There's my delivery truck right here. This man, good guy. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys. Belly full. Eight thousand five hundred. Eight thousand five hundred for that lunch I had. I always eat there. They're good. And now let's go and do the delivery. I guess I want to carry the bed myself. And if they try to change the price again on me, I also have my um, my girl's cousin come help me carry it. So it's just a couple blocks, anyways. All right, guys, stay tuned. Guys, y'all see all these bugs here? Holy cow, what are those things? I think those are bees. They're all going into that little thing over there. Y'all see that? That's crazy. Yeah, this is the nest right there. But I'm not getting close because, my God. Huh. Es just on abejas. Sí, abejas pequeñas, pero ellos pican o no? No pican. No. Ah, bueno, pues demasiado. Entonces, so she said that they don't, they don't sting. So I'll get close then. <laughs> I'll double, I'll, I'll try. Look at all these bees, guys. Holy cow! And there's the, there's the nest right there. Huh? That is cool. Let's see if I can see on this side. Can y'all see it? That is so cool. Anyways, and they're just like going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get before I get stung. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's the situation. The lady that that that's working there, she's the worker, not the owner. She's trying to play stupid. She's probably trying to play dumb with me. Trying every time I go back and talk to her, she tries to say, "No, it's not this. No, it's not that. Oh, I don't remember. We didn't say it this way." She's trying to change things on me, right? So they wanted to charge me delivery, which yesterday was negotiated. That was included, but she's forgetting. And. I know like a lot of you guys are going to say, ah, it's whatever, it's that price, it's cheap compared to dollars, but it's not about the price, it's about the principle. It's about the principle. And there's so many other businesses out here that, that I can go to with honest people that, uh, that can give them my money, right? Now, she wanted me to, I didn't want to pay for the delivery because it was agreed that delivery is included, I didn't want to pay for it. So I told, him, I told her that I'll, my friend, when my friend's ready, I'll come with my friend and I'll, I'll carry the, the thing with my buddy to my house. And I said, okay, that's free, that's free, fine. But then she wanted me to pay at that moment and then come back later, like pay the whole thing and she gives me the receipt and then come back later. But I'm afraid that she'll say, oh, but you already took that stuff. You know what I mean? Some crazy stuff like, something like that, something crazy. So I told her, I said, no, I'm not gonna pay. I'm not gonna pay the right now. I'm gonna come back to my friend and pay then and take everything all at once, right? So y'all just be careful. Don't get taken advantage of. And I, I did a consultation with a guy who was with a girl here in Colombia, and it was very obviously obvious that he was getting taken advantage of by her and her family, right? So even though he was having a lot of money coming in, making dollars and that kind of stuff, you can't let people take advantage of you here because if, if there's good people here and then there's bad people and the bad people who like to take advantage of, of others will just keep taking advantage of you keep taking advantage of you keep 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 taking so you can't let that happen know the culture know the cost know the prices and if one company is doing bad business you go to the next company that has an honest person there's plenty of honest people here plenty of honest people i want to give them one more chance today because honestly that was the best price i could find for a double bed <laughs> It's still the best price I could find for everything included. So I'm gonna give them one more chance. And if they try anything else on me, it's done. It's done. All right, guys, stay tuned. Hey right, guys, so I'm in a different store down the street and I'm dealing with this gentleman here and I can tell he's honest and he's giving me a good price. Well, it's gonna be more expensive than what I have there, but the quality is better. And I'd rather, as you guys, you guys might think I'm cheap or whatever it is, but I'd rather spend more money to a person that's honest and does good business then spend less money to uh, people who just try to rip you off and try to take advantage so i want to buy the bed here it's a better quality uh, uh, mattress and as the gentleman was telling me 
it's best to invest in a good mattress because that's what you're going to be spending on spending most of your time uh on the mattress right so stay tuned all right guys so i nego i i did the deal with him super nice guy very honest very professional i could see that and it's all the way that he treated me it was very professional and like i said i'd rather give my money i'd rather pay more and give to honest people than to pay less and give to people who are not honest and trying to take advantage and try and change prices and trying to say this is this not no I don't, i'm not i'm not going to do that so let me know in the comments if you guys agree with me if you disagree with me i think you give money to people who 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 deserve it you know what i mean so I'm buying it right here. It's called La Poltrona. La Poltrona. And they actually have two places. One here. It's right there. One here. And one in a little bit further by Laureles. This one has a little bit more simpler furniture, which is fine for me. And the other location has more fine furniture, like more elegant. I think they even make it to where, uh, make it to order. You basically want, you, you tell them what you want in a piece of furniture and they'll make it for you. So anyways. Stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys what my bed looks like when it's set up. Actually, no, that'll be tomorrow. So I'm buying the, uh, he even showed me where he, he actually buys from the fabric, the fabrica, uh, all his covers and stuff. So very honest guy, I liked him. Stay tuned. So it was a long adventure. Y'all went with me for a little bit with the, um, dealing with business here in, San, in, uh, in Colombia, Medellin. The first business, wasn't honest. Try to rip me, not rip me off, oh yeah. Try to rip me off. Tell me one price one day, another price the next day. He said, the day, the day before this was included, the next day that wasn't included. Playing games, playing this stuff. So I went to the other business, I showed you guys where I bought it. I didn't show you guys the, the senor, the, 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 the kind gentleman, because, you know, I think he was kind of shy. But the end result, Got my bed. I still need to buy the covers, but now I went from an air mattress to this bed. Yes! Ah, it feels good to have a bed and not sleep on an air mattress. Oh man, it's nice. Anyways, I guess I'll, I might show you guys what it looks like when I go buy my covers or I might end the video here. I don't know, so stay tuned. It might be in a second or it might be next video. All right, guys, I'm happy. I hope you guys are happy too. Positive. And here, let me tell you something real quick. Hold on a second. This is why I believe in buying things when you need it, when, only when you need it, and trying to live a simple life. Living a simple life and only buying things when you need it is because, for example, for the past month and a half, I was sleeping on an air mattress. I was comfortable on the air mattress. And you know, everything's going well with the channel. I'm doing uh, cons consultations over Zoom, so I'm getting clients. Uh, you guys are contacting me to consult you guys uh, with those questions you have about moving here to Medellin, about moving to Colombia, that kind of stuff. Or relationship questions, dating a Colombian here, uh, the culture differences, basically anything that you can think of uh, that you might have questions about life here in Colombia. Uh, I've had people contact me already and I've been doing co consultations over Zoom. So that has bring, been bringing in some money uh, to the channel. Uh, I have had donations come in from you guys. That's been bringing some money in from the, for the channel through PayPal. Um, I have I have 13 Patreons right now that are, uh, that are donating monthly on a, on a monthly basis and that's helping out the channel. So now that I have a little bit more money coming in, uh, then I can invest in something that I need. And what I needed was a bed. <laughs> <laughs> but because I, but because I, I not suffered, but I lasted through that month and a half of sleeping on an air mattress. And I've done that before in my life. I'm sure many of you guys have in the past. Comment below, let me know who's, who's gone through these kind of situations. But I went through it, but with a smile. You guys have seen me in all my videos, always smiling, always a positive attitude. So always keeping a positive attitude, even during the tough times. That and the, my point is, when it comes, when comes the time when you're able to purchase something that helps you have a better life, it, it adds to your adds to your life. Not what's, what's the word? 
when you're able to purchase something like a bed that gives you a little bit more comfort in life and it's a necessity, something that you actually needed. I mean, I was I was fine on the mat on the air mattress, but I couldn't have lived there. I couldn't have slept in there forever. So now that I bought this, I feel that was a good buy. It was a valid buy, and it increases my life, my happiness uh, in my life right now. So I, it's kind of hard to explain, guys. I think you know what I'm saying. You think you know I, you know what I'm talking about. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I can't explain. I mean, I hopefully you see it in my face, but I can't explain the happiness that I feel right now to be able to get a to actually purchase a bed, have it here, sleep on the bed, and. Uh, be a little bit more comfortable at nighttime. So, thank you for joining me on this journey of buying a, a bed here in Medellin, Colombia. This is literally the first bed I bought here. I've been here four years, going on five, and this is my first bed I bought in Colombia because the other apartment I was renting it was furnished. So the, the apartment had all the furniture, the bed, the couch, everything. Even though there it was a very simple and not very nice bed, and the couch wasn't very nice either, it was still a couch and a bed, and I was it was enough for me. Now I moved to this apartment that's unfurnished, so it was my first bed in Colombia. Super cool. Alright guys, y'all take care, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Or I might see in a second when I show you guys the, um, the covers, if I buy the covers. Or I'm going to buy the covers, but when I do buy the covers, I might show you what it looks like with the covers, yeah? So stay tuned to that, or see you in the next video. Take care.